Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And good morning, of course, uh, joining this International Data Protection Conference. This is actually one of the biggest events uh, we are organizing together with the TGS Baltics. And it became a kind of tradition already. And we are, uh, since basically introduction of the GDPR, we are always celebrating, uh, uh, we're always celebrating this day. And uh, of course, today is a unique event and a very special day for privacy community because uh, as you uh, all know, uh, five years ago, the world has of data protection changed forever when GDPR came into effect. Uh, and uh, in the years since then, since the introduction of the GDPR, uh, the, it has changed uh, the environment around us a lot. And uh, it has had a significant impact on not only in Europe, but beyond its borders, introducing a new way of envisioning personal data protection. Also, it became a, a real inspiration for other countries outside the EU, leaving the leading the, a wave uh, of privacy laws passing in over 100 countries worldwide already today. But uh, if we look back, uh, what a turbulent, at, at the same time fruitful, from regulatory perspective, uh, those five years have been, full of changes, which none of us, as Mendogas uh, rightly pointed out, could uh, not expect or foresee. Let's look back what we can remember uh, from those five years which uh, have passed. In the, beginning, uh, uh, in the beginning of 2019, the world has been shaken by COVID-19 crisis. All of us were locked and uh, data has become an invaluable asset to combat the spread of the pandemic. Then later in the summer of 2020, who could expect that the Court of Justice of the European Union in, in so-called Schrems 2 case would invalid the EU-US privacy shield and the impact of this decision was essentially global, triggering a major rethink of how organizations manage compliance with data protection laws in multiple, actually, jurisdictions. And in December of the same year, uh, the Commission has tabled uh, two important proposals to regulate big online platforms, which are already actually uh, adapted uh, at this point of time, Digital Markets Act and Digital Services Act, and those two legislations, they changed the landscape of the digital world. Uh, later, in 2021, the Commission has presented AI Act that will govern anyone who provides a product or service that uses AI. And once we have this uh, act adopted, it will change the world. It, it will be the first. Uh, uh, act uh, in the world uh, regulating a artificial intelligence. And uh, in February last year, the Commission has tabled a proposal proposing a data act to unlock the potential uh, of uh, industrial data sharing. And, uh, and uh, at the same year, uh, we have had uh, uh, a very big change, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which has changed very much a geopolitical situation, global economy, and human values. And also, as Mindagos rightly pointed out, who could foresee that today we could have a chat GBT release, and it has very rightly showed case that AI-based technologies solutions, they are much more advanced as, as we could expect. And uh, the, it raises naturally a lot of uh, questions for the privacy community. 
So data has become, and it will continue to be at the heart of the EU's digital transformation that is influence all actual aspects of society and economy. So the entire landscape uh, has changed a lot compared to where we were in 2018. If we were mainly focusing on how interpret that new, new big legislation called GDPR, and uh, today we are already talking much more broadly, and the GDPR doesn't play a central role in the entire landscape, landscape but uh, rather it is just uh, takes uh, parts in overall picture called data economy. So today, five years later, we are rather wondering uh, about such fundamental issues as how the GDPR principles will adapt uh, to the current and future technological developments. I am very delighted and to welcome you all uh, to this conference focused on the data economy, uh, balancing privacy, innovation, and regulation today. And we are, of course, extremely uh, grateful to you all for finding the time to join this event, uh, which I'm sure you will uh, find rewarding and interesting. Thank you. Thank you.